Amazon just released their contender for their thin and portable gaming 15-inch laptop called the MSI GS65 Stealth Thin. Now they were kind enough to let me borrow one, so I figured I would try to do a complete walkthrough on it. Uh, if you're not familiar, a complete walkthrough on the channel is where I try to go through every feature I possibly can on a new device so that you are better prepared and have more knowledge should you be in the market to buy one. And with that said, there is a lot to go through as usual. So let's start with the hardware. Now, the laptop has a 15.6 inch, 144 hertz, 1080p anti-glare screen with some darn thin bezels, frankly. And speaking of thin, the laptop itself is pretty slim, measuring just 0.69 inches thick, which is only 0.03 inches thicker than the Razer Blade 15 that claims to be the thinnest 15 inch gaming laptop in its class for the record. Also, like the Razer Blade 15 inch, it comes in a matte black color, which I'm a fan of and is made out of this aluminum chassis that has gold accents throughout that aren't as gamer looking as some other laptops and yet still has some flash to it. Above the screen, we have a 720p webcam. Also below the screen and going with the theme of other gaming laptops out there, MSI has included a customizable RGB keyboard made by SteelSeries. And beneath that, we have our large precision, thankfully, touchpad. Above the keyboard, we have our center mounted power button and we have our Dyna audio speaker system that if you have the proper audio files, you can even listen to 24 bit, 192 kilohertz high res audio files on. For ports, we have three USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, one Thunderbolt 3 USB-C port, an HDMI 2.0 port, a mini display port, and a mic in and a headphone out port. Inside the laptop, we have an Intel 8th Gen Core i7, 16 or 32 gigs of RAM, depending on the model, and an NVIDIA GTX 1060 or GTX 1070, also depending on the model. For storage, the option of a 256 gig, 512 gig, or a one terabyte SSD. Connectivity-wise, there's a gigabit killer gaming ethernet port. We have wireless 802.11ac Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 5.0. Now powering all of this, we have an 82 watt hour battery that MSI says will last eight hours. For software, it can come with either Windows 10 Home or Windows 10 Pro. Either way, you're probably familiar with Windows, so we'll skip going through that. And let's talk about the software that MSI has included that stands out. First, we have Dragon Center, which is MSI's own program for controlling all of the internals of the device from the CPU, uh, the fans, etc. Next, we also have SteelSeries' own RGB controller, which allows you to change the colors of their keyboard. Now, I use gaming laptops to edit my videos on since the same components that make these guys good at gaming is the same that makes them good at running Premiere Pro, which is my video editing software. So let's run our video out and see how long that takes. Now let's check out how it does in 3D Mark's Fire Strike test so that you guys can use that number to compare it to other similar laptops as well. So all in all, I like this laptop. Uh, I think of all the ones that I've tested kind of in this gaming category that are this size and this price, it's between this and the Razer Blade that I think have the best performance, the best battery life, and for sure, look the best. Now, unlike some of the other ones in the category, uh, that are a bit too gamer looking. This and the Blade, they're not subtle, but they're a lot more subtle than the other ones. Either way, I'd have to say that this MSI should be probably on your short list of the best laptops in this category. There you go, guys. Uh, head to the link below uh, to the best price that I could find on this laptop and also to check it out and see what you guys think. Let me know what you think, though, in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys, as always. Um, if you like this video, though, please thumbs up or share it. It's greatly appreciated. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell next to the word subscribe so you get notified when I do new videos. As always, though, regardless, thanks for watching.